Well, well, Tabaki. Fast asleep, are you? <laughs> you have no right to take this path. Catch me if you can. <laughs> oh, sorry. I forgot. You don't have wings. <laughs> I didn't manage to stop that filthy featherhead. What are you jabbering about, Jackal? Kalu is my guest. We are not to be disturbed on any account. So clear off, understand? Away with you! So, you can know all about an animal just by examining tracks in the forest? Amazing! Fur on a tree trunk, half-eaten fruit... Wait, I don't believe it. Look! A one-footed bird! Does that exist? Of course not, Banana Brain. It's a crane taking a nap on one leg. <sighs> Can't stay upright on one foot, Banana Brain. Tracks teach us many, many things. But there are also droppings. <laughs> <laughs> Stop howling, you dummies. Poop tells us everything about an animal. What it eats, where it goes. <laughs> Here, for example, notice these yellow seeds. They look like chickpeas? I'd say more like curried chickpeas. This greedy fellow went to the village. <gasps> Hard cheese? Yes, indeed. Good observation. I told you, poop reveals all sorts of information. <laughs> we both have so much to gain. I don't eat squirrels, but her nest interests me. We'll be doing each other a favour. I'll consider it. And even better, I'll find a way of delivering the man cub to you on the platter. <laughs> <laughs> How clever Kalu is. I believe we'll do great things together. But Master, he's... Lively, full of clever ideas. An excellent recruit. What about me? Am I not your most faithful servant? Your friend? My what? <laughs> I have no friends, and I have no need to justify myself to a jealous jackal. Oh, a little deer. Known as a fawn, dummy. Oh, Agni, what happened to you? Back off, hairless monkey. Are you the one who stole my nest? What's she talking about? Well, I don't know. It's as though she doesn't even recognize us. Poor Agni is completely deranged. What could have happened to her? What if we followed her tracks, like in the lesson? Yes, to understand what happened. We can't leave her in this state. Hmm, practical work. Good idea. Let's see how you two get by on your own. Go ahead. Now, try to remember, is your nest a long way away? In a tree? In a hole? By water? Do we know each other? <laughs> um, I am on a secret mission. It's you? The giant mountain squirrel! <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a long face you have. I no longer have a single friend. Shere Khan doesn't need me. <laughs> Did you two have an argument? Kind of. He told me to get lost. How about joining our team? Uh, well, what do you think, Bagheera? Uh, We're on an investigation to help Agni find her nest. She's lost her memory completely. We could really use your amazing sense of smell. Oh, thanks a million. Ah, I mean, of course along with Bagheera's incomparable sense of smell. Together, we could solve this mystery. I can be on your team? I really can? Whoa, not so frisky. Concentration and silence are the secret to a successful investigation. Got it? See here, we're following the path Agni took. <laughs> Concentration and silence. <gasps> Droppings? Shh. What do you reckon, Baggy? A squirrel? Agni the squirrel. What a greedy little thing. Pine kernels, broken nuts, pomegranate seeds, and... Wait, what are these? Can you see them? You're right. That looks like... Now, children, be careful. 
These berries may look delicious. Never eat these berries. Do you hear me, Tabaki? They'll make you crazy. <gasps> of course. That's why Agni doesn't know where she is. She ate those berries. See that? A pomegranate. Like the seeds in Agni's droppings. Stuffed with blackberries. Huh? That means that someone actually wanted to... Well, well. This looks like a crow's feather, right? So it really is Agni's nest, and the thief is Kalu. Ah, that's what I wanted to tell you. Yeah, well, you should have said you so. You kept saying concentration and silence. Better make up your mind, you nutter, filthy bag of feathers. Friend stealer, I mean nest stealer. Mowgli, what a marvellous surprise. Mind telling me what you're doing in Agni's nest? She gave it to me as a gift. Why? Doesn't she remember? Poor little Agni isn't quite right in the head anymore. You gave her blackberries to make her lose her mind. So you could steal her nest. We'll check that out with Agni right now. We seem to have lost her. <laughs> My wing! Don't move it all. Bagheera, his wing might be broken. Go and fetch Baloo. You're the fastest. Oh, I can't leave you here alone with these two. I don't trust him. It hurts too much. No! You can't attack a wounded creature. Kalu, what are you? As I thought, the nest is superb. And here is your little two-footed meal served on a platter, as I promised. Now, you must keep your side of the promise, Shere Khan, and get rid of that Agni. What a fool I am. I got it all wrong. My so-called investigation. Agni was the bait. Where is my little appetizer? She's gone, and you'll never ah, find her! Here at last, Shere Khan, may I introduce your appetizer? You're far too gullible, Mowgli. That will be your downfall. <laughs> Agni is dead! <gasps> and you're the one who poisoned her! <laughs> yes, you! You ugly, feathery thing! That's quite a nutcracker beak you've got! <laughs> nutty, nutty, nutcracker! <laughs> That's how we realise that, in order to steal Agni's nest, Kalu had given her the berries! Yes, that would explain her condition. But the poison's effect will soon wear off. Well done! I'm proud of you! Dead? What kind of ploy is this, Kalu? You wanted to poison me? Is that it? You planned this right from the start, didn't you? All those tricks and flattery. You were planning on getting rid of me, were you? You wanted to kill me. I swear those berries are inoffensive. Well, that's what we're going to find out now. Go on, eat. No. Mowgli? But how? How did you... You're too gullible, Shere Khan. That will be your downfall. We'll see who laughs last. Tabaki! <sighs> you know, Baloo, without your lessons, we would never have solved this mystery. We got it all wrong, didn't we? We didn't have the slightest idea that Shere Khan and Kalu were working together. You're right. We didn't understand a thing. You're safe and sound. That's all that matters. Agni will get his nest back, and Shere Khan has learned a good lesson thanks to his underlings. <laughs> 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 Come on!
my lunch. <laughs> well done! Try without the other foot now! <laughs> Stop laughing and come and help me! <laughs> Just relax. You're feeling sleepy. <laughs> the old python's got the hiccups! <laughs> Mowgli! Hey, do you think I'm a flower? <gasps> What's the matter, Carr? It's all your fault that <gasps> I've caught these wretched hiccups. <gasps> I've just lost my prey, and I'm really, really hungry. Sorry, Carr. Uh, but wait! I know some tricks that will help you get rid of them. See Baloo. Oh, if Baloo sticks his nose into this, it won't be as much fun. Oh, I should never have approached that rotten porcupine. Mm. But, but, are you listening to me, Baloo? Yes. <laughs> uh, just as I thought. This is the dreadful python's hiccups. Oh, very stubborn. It can be a lifelong condition. How horrible. I won't be able to hunt anymore. <laughs> Carr could die of hunger, Baloo. Please tell me you know of a remedy. Of course I know of a remedy. But first, I've got to help Ricky. You and Carr will have to go and get it yourselves. At last, someone has decided to help me. Ouch! That really hurt. I I'll show you. Hmm... <clears throat> It's easy to recognise. The flower is blue. There you go. You'll find it in cold lair. Take one where the flower has bloomed. I knew Baloo would spoil everything. We've got to stop them. Come on. And Mowgli, bring the plant back here. It mustn't be swallowed in just any way. It could be dangerous. Thanks, Baloo. Let's go, Carr. <laughs> Right, Ricky. Where were we? I'm totally fine, Baloo. Honest. Hurry up, Carr. We're nearly there. Oh, I can't go faster. I haven't eaten anything and I'm exhausted with these hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hang on, Mowgli! Oh, oh no! I'll find this plant before you. You'll never get better, you silly python. <laughs> oh, what a shame. You were so close. <laughs> It doesn't hurt anymore. Why don't you go and help Mowgli to find the plouch? Mouch! Come back. Come back here. Don't worry, Carr. Baloo's picture is right here, engraved on my memory. See? Unless it's that one. There 
it is! Come on! Squish it to a pulp! Who wants to squash <laughs> what? On my territory? Ooh. Oh, what, what a nice surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that car? Come on, it was Masha. Let's get Baloo's picture back from her. Oops. I can't go any further. Go on alone, Mowgli. I'll wait for you here. and steal the plant from him. You thief! You won't leave from here. <laughs> Come back here! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> You'll pay for this! <laughs> That's it! I've got it, Car! I've got the plant! Car? Oh! <laughs> Be careful, Maui! <laughs> oh, surprise, surprise, man cub! Oh, and isn't this the precious plant that can heal hiccups? Hmm, it does look delicious! There's not enough plant left for him to get better. No more monkeys for him. <laughs> Last one, Ricky. Don't oh, thank me, Ricky. Mowgli. So, uh, do you have that plant? Yes and no. This is all I have. Masha just wolfed down the rest. <laughs> Sorry, Carr. I failed. There isn't enough, is there, Baloo? On the contrary, Mowgli. You brought everything I needed. <laughs> Only the flower will heal the hiccups. Are you all right, Carr? I'm better than all right. My hiccups have gone, disappeared. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, you're the best, Baloo. But, Baloo, what happens if you eat the flowers but you don't have hiccups? Let's just say that um, it produces the exact opposite effect. <laughs> I won! I won! 
My trunk's longest. Just because I sneezed. <laughs> you really look silly, Apu. <laughs> Do not. Oh, I've had enough of this silly game. And you. Artie, I don't think Apu should be going off on his own. Oh, don't worry, Gajini. He'll come back in his own good time. What's the lesson today, Mowgli? <laughs> Advanced snoring? Shh. Here you are, Valu. Oh, they've got all spit on them. Hmm. Huh? What's he doing here? <laughs> oh, no. Not you. <laughs> yes, us. <laughs> the great elephant riders. <laughs> 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 What was it you said? He'll come back in his own good time? Oh, young folk of today. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have laughed at him. We've got to go and look for him. No sense. No sense at all. <coughs> yes, I suppose we should. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> What's the weather like up there? <laughs> look at our new statue. What do I do now? Stop! Oh, this is no business of yours, man cub. <laughs> Keep away from him! <laughs> Now, Mowgli, I've told you before about running off without telling me where you were going. In the middle of your lessons, too. I... Huh? Help! Help! What's he doing up there? More to the point. How are we supposed to get him down? Apu! 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 I'm sorry for laughing at you! Don't worry, Hita. We'll find him. I hope. Help! <laughs> of course, that's what we need. What? A bridge. We're going to build one from there 
to there. Apple! Apple! Oh, not more elephants. What do you mean, more elephants? I was disturbed by your little apple not so very long ago. He seemed to be heading towards the cold lair. You hear that, Hearty? The cold lair. I knew I should never have listened to you. He'll come back in his own good time, indeed. Well, don't just stand there. Come on! Help! I want to get down. I know, Apple. I know. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Oh, it's no good, Baloo. We can't do this on our own. We need help. Bandalog, I know we have had our differences in the past. But surely you can find it in your hearts to come to the assistance of a poor, frightened little elephant just this once. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you will. Dad! <laughs> You will help the man-cub with whatever he asks, or it will be so much the worse for you. Ah, no! All right! We'll help! We'll help! Elephants are much indebted to you. As for you, Apu, don't you ever put your mother through that again. Sorry, Mother. It was my fault. I shouldn't have been so horrid. Never mind. It's over now. Let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> So do I. That was very brave of you, Mowgli. Brave and ingenious. But I seem to remember that we have yet to finish this morning's lesson. And so, Mowgli? Um, just going to get rid of that annoying spider. I wouldn't want you to have another one of your coughing fits, huh? Baloo. Shoo! Go on! Get out of here! <laughs> That's my little man cub. Always thinking of others. Yes. And he's got out of his lessons again. Hey, Mowgli! Come back here! This minute! <laughs> 